This man, who crashed his van into the bedroom of a Wolfson High School student, learns his punishment for the fatal wreck. It's a bittersweet moment for her family. The sentencing is, is what we agreed upon. And um, I guess in that sense, it was satisfied, but at the same time, it does nothing. Janae is still gone. Janae Jackson was just 17 years old when she was killed as she slept in her family's south side home. Today, her parents said it'll be a little easier to move forward now that they know that the man responsible will be locked up for a long time. A judge sentenced Ismet Siamochic to 12 years in prison, followed by three years of supervised drug offender probation. The judge also permanently revoked his driver's license. Siamochic admitted running a stop sign at the intersection of Kennerly and Barnes Roads in August of last year and crashing into the teen's bedroom. Channel 4's Kamasi Aaron was inside the courtroom. She spoke with the Jackson family after the judge handed down the sentence. Kamasi. Well, Janae Jackson's family told me they really believed that justice was served in this case. Uh, they told me that they kind of expected this because this was the sentence that their attorneys recommended. They even worked with the attorneys to come up with this sentence, but it still didn't make this day any easier. I'm relieved. It's just hard. Mixed emotions from Felicia Jackson just after the man who pled guilty to killing her daughter is sentenced. A judge ordered Ismet Siamachich to spend 12 years in prison, three years on drug offender probation, and for his driver's license to be permanently revoked. I'm just glad that it's over. I'm glad I don't have to come back and deal with this any longer because um, we're, we're dealing with so much. And it hurts so much. It's been more than a year since Siyama Cheech crashed his van into her daughter's bedroom as she slept. Both Felicia Jackson and her husband Gerald were at home and ran to help the 17 year old Wolfson High School honor student, but it was too late. While they believe the sentence was fair, it doesn't bring much closure because their daughter is still gone. I guess because you just can't close off that part of your life. As much as you try, you, you try to think that every day you wake up that you'll be better and just don't seem to get any better. When sentencing Siyama Chief Judge Suzanne Bass says she took into account the fact that he had marijuana and Xanax in his system. Gerald Jackson says he hopes the sentence will send a message to drivers. We definitely have to be mindful of what we do, uh, how we're physically um, uh, capable as far as driving a motor vehicle or doing anything else. We have to be responsible and we have to think about uh, our actions. Dozens of friends and family members join them in the courtroom, a support system this family says is helping them make it through their daughter's death. But mainly, it's their faith, they say, and God's promises that will help them move forward without Janae. And that's where, uh, how we keep going. We look forward to seeing her in a new world, being resurrected and being able to enjoy her as we did, and even, even in a better state. The maximum sentence for Siamatich would have been 15 years. The state says they recommended 12 because he had no prior criminal history and because the family said they just wanted to move forward. Reporting live tonight, Kamasi here on Channel 4, the local station. Kamasi, what about his family? Were they in the court for this sentencing hearing? Well, I saw at least one member of his family, a young man there. I tried to speak with him after the sentence was read. He told me that he didn't want to make a comment at this time. Kamasi here reporting live from downtown.